Yeah. I don't even like football, but disgusting. No, uh, let's go sports ball. <laughs> sports? You see that ludicrous display last night? <laughs> All right, so we got the. Why is it Marth? He's definitely not playing Marth. There's is he no Greninja? Way. We got He's another Marth? one of these. Yeah, Greninja versus. Oh yeah, and here's the thing too. Starman was PR in Wisconsin. Oh. So we got another. We have three Greninjas. Really good Greninjas in Chicago right now. Eh. All right, so I don't know why he's using Marth in this matchup when he could just be using Lucina. But he, I mean, I guess he wants the early kills if he can land the tippers, which is seems impossible for Marth. Yeah, I feel like Earl's gotta know this matchup by now. Uh, I think most of Chicago knows this matchup. Yeah. By now. It's just like Greninja's so good. Greninja is really good. Alright, see... I mean, he's actually putting in a lot of work with Marth right now. Not, I haven't seen one tipper. Yeah, yeah, this okay. is the run back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I brought it up earlier. No, you're good. Because I was asking, like, oh, who did uh, Earl lose to? And then I remembered he lost to Starman. I don't even think... Can the stream here you say that? Oh, okay. Who did Earl play in that game? Oh. Okay. Okay. It makes sense, yeah. I don't think I'd play Sora in the Greninja. That just feels impossible. It just seems impossible, at least. Like, I don't know how exactly that match will play out. But Greninja is uh, so much faster. I mean, just like so much pressure. Like he whiffs so much, and then he's like, "Oh no, I'm fine," and you died. <laughs> yeah, this whole thing is if you take if you whiff anything with Sora, I feel like Greninja can just come from anywhere around the stage all the way up to you to punish. Yeah. Uh, I like I like what I'm seeing from his Marth right now. I I'm surprised he's going Marth and not Lucina. Hey, first dipper. Let's go. But. Um, I, you would think he would just go Lucina here. I, I mean, he's, it's working. Yeah. I just don't understand why Mark. It's more even than I expected. Ah, uh, that would have been cool if that would have landed. Yeah, it would have. All right, gonna get back to stage safely, but can he get back to center stage? Doesn't seem likely against Starman. Oh, that'll do it though. Hit my shield. Get off. Oh. oh. Take it. That's probably why he does it. That's probably why he picked Marth, because Marth, if he can land that tipper oh. near ledge, you die so much faster than you would as Lucina. He did a good job holding on to his stock, too. Thought he was going to go for something crazy off stage right there, but ends up playing it safe. A really good job getting back on stage there. Oh, going for the shield breaker. Oh, no combo for that. Up throw is going to take it. Still living. Seeing Marth live to 175 in this matchup in particular is very odd. Doesn't feel right, but it's cool to watch. Oh, yeah. He's absolutely getting his extra credit in here. He is schmoving. Oh, that'll, that'll yeah. be it. That, I think that's why he picked Marth. That makes because sense. Because once you corner Greninja, you could kill him earlier mm -hmm. than Lucina could have. Yeah. Lucina would have, like, that forward air would have hit, and he would have still lived. Yeah. But if you get the tipper forward air as Marth, you she died at 70. More, yeah, you got to be more precise, but if you can execute it carefully, then I'm gonna be there you have it. <laughs> if you're playing at this, like, if you're getting grands with, like, how stacked this tri-point was for the most part, mm -hmm. it's, like, it's an okay stacked tri-point. Like, your spacing's got to be perfect. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, and Earl of M always playing sorties. Like, he knows Marth probably like the back of his hand. Because it's just Lucina with a tipper. So it's probably really easy for him to space out in a situation like that. Being able to make that call between which one to use and like the pros and cons of each is also like such a good skill in itself. Yeah. I honestly think if if they gave Marth an easier time to land tippers, just kinda like Smash 4 where you just got tippers all the time with good spacing, uh hundred percent Marth would be the better character. Because why would you not why would you play Lucina if he can just kill her? Mm -hmm. When they're both the same character, for the most part. Alright, you can't land on stage. That's just part of problems, but that tipper down air into tipper up air, killing at 100. You don't see Lucina doing that. Oh, yeah. Marth broke it. And Marth is absolutely <laughs> doing work here. That's it. Oh my god, okay. Earl of M making Marth look actually good right now. <laughs> where, where, where was this? 
It's really cool to see how versatile Earl is with all the different sorties he plays. Oh, yeah. And just having their kits down just to a science. He's just so good with, like, he was always good with Lucina. And to see this Marth come out is just, it's crazy cool to see. I love it. I wish we'd see more Marths, because Marth, Marth is dope. Marth is definitely fun to watch. I'm glad that I don't have to play against a lot of them, but... We have to face a lot of Selenas, though. That's not fun. Oh, yeah. But Marth is kind of nice. He's very fun to face. Doesn't feel as bad. Yeah. That's for sure. I don't feel as sad when I lose to a Marth. Because if I get tippered, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, he spaced well. Mm. When I get hit by Lucina, I'm like, well, you have giant hitboxes. Yeah, with Marth, uh, it's like he earned that hit. Yeah. Is that it? That is yeah. it! Wow, catching the the drift back to center stage with the up air. Very good. Earl trying to find anything to secure a stock right now. Because this is uh, really not looking this safer anymore. It was looking really good in the beginning, but Starman just in his face the entire time, just never letting the pressure down. Uh oh! Uh -huh. Will that do it? Can you get back? He can, but that's not... Oh! Oh! It interesting? Why didn't he... I wonder why he went for that direction instead of just coming from the top. Because you know you can choose which direction. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's odd. It was a choice. And he didn't lose much for it. Yeah. Still living. There, that up tilt's going to take it. Um, that is one thing that is bad about Marth. If he didn't get the tipper right there, I don't think that up tilt would have killed. Yeah. So it has its pros and its cons. You kill early, but you also probably kill later in some areas. Mm -hmm. so. yeah, Which I actually think is very balanced. It is. Yeah, you, like I said, you got to earn it. Like, the spacing has to be there. Yeah. Both of them playing Out of more their patiently. Uh, even though it's patient, it still feels like so aggressive at the same time. Yeah. They're kind of finding ghosts right now, but it's fine. It's the, it's the calculation. Yeah. I could see the see like the galaxy brain moves being contemplated both of their minds right now. Yep. All right. So Earl getting Starman in a very bad spot. Can he get anything out of it? No. Oh. Sent straight to heaven with that one. Yep. Water Shuriken. Water Shuriken gently escorting him to his death. Yeah. All right, so does Earl stay Marth? I want to see the Marth. I think I think he did well. I think he could do it. He just. I think I think the Marth is the play. Yeah, okay. He stick to it. He uses the wrong Marth skin though. He's got to use the black one. No Blarth. Yeah. The white one's okay. We got the White Knight out here. Yeah, but it's like so ugly. White Knight versus Bubblegum Pink Frog. I just. This is bubblegum pink. I think it's like the uh, only, sh like, that shade of bubblegum is like probably the only one in Smash. In the I game know. Of the Greninja. There's other pink skins, but there's nothing like that. Yeah, that it's pink. like, it's even more pastel than Kirby. Yeah. Missed time the, the up smash there. Yeah. I'll get that. I know it's a Pokemon thing that they always say their name, but I just hate the way Greninja says his name. Greninja. It, it sounds yucky, especially once you realize that he's literally fighting with his tongue. Well, now, now I'll never unsee that. It oh. really is his tongue. Yeah, that's that's not a scarf? That is that is his tongue. How did I not know this? I, How did, <laughs> that's how oh, much I know about Pokemon. That's should... his tongue? Jeez. <laughs> that's a big tongue. What the hell? I thought it was a scarf this entire time. Uh, the more you know, I guess. That's so disturbing. I'll never get that out of my head. Thank oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, have you ever watched the the like hyper realistic Detective Pikachu Pokemon? No, I have not. Oh, they're a treat. That's gonna take it. Nice use of down tilt there. Put them in a better situation. All right. Can he give back the stage? Fine. Yes, he can. But uh, Starman doing a great job just keeping him on like ledge the entire time. And Sermon's doing a really good job just spacing this out, being careful not to take too many hard hits. Yep. You just have to counter space Marth because you can't afford the extra damage. Yep. 
Well, it's hard against such like a character like this, where it's just like always in your face. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they both have to be relatively close combat because Greninja yeah. has range options, but he has like one really good range option. The other ones are actually like gotta be right on top of you. Back yeah. air, everything else. Like and for the thing is, for his forward air comes out so slow. Yeah. That's like the one bad thing about Greninja, but everything other than that, amazing. Everything like combos into each other. You can go for crazy setups. I'm surprised he hasn't gone for more of the drag downs through the platforms. He's gotten a couple of them, but he just isn't maximizing the damage there. Yeah. Um, it might be hard against a floaty like Marth. That's true. To maximize the damage. Like you might be able to do, like instead of three hits, you probably only go for one or two. Yeah. Okay, he gets sent too far. That makes sense. Oh. That's going to be a forward air. Yeah, that's just like a... Dash attack and forward air. In my opinion, one of the lamest combos, but it always connects. And it's always good, yeah. just like that down tilt into up smash. I love that up smash. The big... It's so cool. The big go away. Uh, those are actually like water too, right? Like yeah, that. they're like more water swords and he just X's down. Yeah. I'm sure there's like a real cool Pokemon name for it. Probably is. Um, so, does Sephiroth. Sephiroth. Oh. I was going to say, right. does he go Sephiroth or Sora? And he went Sephiroth. I don't know why he didn't start off with Sephiroth. I mean, he did take that game one, which is good, but Starman, just a little bit better. A little yeah. bit better than that Mark. <laughs> now, how much experience? as the Starman have against Sephiroth. This character, even though, like, super hype, a lot of people love this character, you don't see him too often. Yeah. Kind of underutilized. But here in Chicago, you see a bunch of Greninjas. Yeah. Uh, way too many of them. <laughs> yeah, and it's interesting to see how they all play differently. That's why sometimes getting a little bit too comfortable in a matchup could really work against you. Yeah. Because even just watching, like, there's so much diversity yeah you know what's actually crazy too i don't think we have any low level greninjas that i know of at least or have seen in not, chicago we, not like, anymore we have mumon ice knight and now starman but they're all like yeah they're all PR. Like crazy uh, great uh, players uh, yeah it's like i remember oh we used to have uh moosey i'm pretty sure, i think he dropped uh greninja i don't know who that is it usually Used to go to Ignite back in the day. Okay. Yeah, but he was like a resident Greninja for a long time. And then Ice Knight came during the... Ice Knight and Mumon. Yeah. During the Wi-Fi era for the most part. And yeah, then like, Starman now. That makes sense. I remember there's like one guy who went to Poplar sometimes back pre-quarantine. Yeah. I remember when I wanted to main Greninja. He's such a cool character. Uh, you know, in Smash 4, Greninja was my second ever main. Nice. I played him for a week. Who's your first? <laughs> Guess. Who do you think I mained? Oh God. You have to remember, like. I, I want you to think. I played. I like in ultimate in Smash Four. I played Bayonetta and Sheik. Like maimed at the end of the day. Okay. okay? Uh, in ultimate, I main a bunch of characters, but mostly Samus and Snake. Okay. So who do you think I was my first ever main in Smash Four? Just, I knew very little about Smash 4. I'm going to go out and live and say Corrin. No. No. Bowser Jr. Uh, I was a Ludwig main. Uh, Bowser Jr. is great in this game. He's okay. He's, he's just such a fun character. Yeah. He's fun to play. He yeah, doesn't yeah. make him good. Yeah, he's a very bad character. <laughs> That's why I dropped him for Greninja. That's and then I went Luigi and then Fox. And then Bayonetta was nice. And I was like, hey, that's my favorite character. There you go. Yeah. All right, so Starman, while we were <laughs> talking about my past characters, uh, the past character crisis, but uh, Starman making oh. this look really bad for Earl. Oh, that Shadow Flare is actually going to be really huge for Earl. If he can get a Shield Break from the Shadow Flare soon, like this game will be super close. I feel like Earl's going for the right options. They just aren't timed as well. Yeah. That it's kind of hard. 
Yeah, I I feel like he might have an easier time with a little bit more range of Sephiroth, like right there. Yeah. You don't have to work as hard to get the perfect spacing like he did with Marth. But... Uh, uh, being so light is a problem, though. It is. And Greninja just can take you for a ride and refuse to let you off. All right. Shout-outs to Starman for being the goaded... Uh, what is it called? Greninja. We stand the, the pink Greninja.